Hi everyone, Richa here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe and um, like the videos, comment on them, whatever you feel like. You don't even have to like it if you don't want to, if you don't think that the content is right. Or you have any comments, you're most, most, most welcome to put your comments down below. I'm going to speak about healing and how important it is to process things that happen in our life. A lot of times we are so busy in our lives that we don't really get a chance to process things in our life. We end up putting things that are happening in our lives, like let's say that, for example, you had a breakup and you just move past that by getting a rebound, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or doing something that you're not supposed to do, getting, uh, medicating yourself, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and then getting into another relationship. The question here is, with whatever happened in that past relationship, were you able to heal from that? Were you able to learn from that? Were you able to understand what is it that you need for yourself from that place moving forward? And a lot of times people do all kinds of craziness in anything. You know, it could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be abuse of any type. We just want to experience the next best feeling, which is feeling good. And what we forget often is that unless and until you go through that tunnel of darkness to experience the pain that is going to also heal you at the same time, you're not going to truly move on from that pain or that situation that you're into. And I know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but why would I go through the pain when I pain is not what I need in my life? I get it. You don't need pain. But do you know that pain is the process of actually healing? Like some people do makeup and then they're like, oh my God, but the makeup looks so messed up. The makeup looks so crazy or whatever. Trust the process. Ultimately, there are steps to it. And ultimately, it's going to look good. But you have to go through the process of actually getting to a place. Anything in life has a process. Healing is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. It's not going to happen in a month. It's not going to happen in two months. It's not going to happen in six months. There's no timeline to it. But there are different steps that if you do take those steps, there is a possibility that you might start feeling whole inside and I say that so strongly because I remember you know being in that situation and trying to you know take take charge of the situation not knowing the whole process of it and just thinking that oh my god I'm gonna feel good I'm gonna feel good but no no it doesn't work like that you have to go through the process you have to feel the pain you have to go through the dark tunnel so what if you will cry for a few days so what if you will feel like a complete mess one day but you have to go through that process in order for you to heal and move forward and feel better you know and that's not gonna happen if you if you look for the next rebound, or you look for the next happiness, or you look for look for medicating yourself, you know, and taking charge of situations that you don't even know. So, what I'm gonna tell you right now is, if you are somebody who is trying to heal, who is trying to get out of a situation, let it be any situation, please, 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 please understand, you cannot do that with medicating with moving on to the next person with moving on to the next situation you have to experience the pain you have to assess yourself and see what is it that you need for yourself what is it that you want for yourself and then move forward and that's the way to do it so that was really it guys if you have any comments any 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 comments i don't even care if it's any kind of comments put your put your comments below let me know what you think and um I love you all. Mwah.